what's going on ladies and gentlemen it is your boy Codexual, aka hackle and today we're going to be talking about the oculus quest 2 we're going to load side quest on it and we're also going to be able to use side quest with the vr desktop to play wirelessly from the quest 2 towards our steam vr if you have any vr games on steam so let's go ahead and jump on our desktop here uh let me go ahead and disable my camera and let's show my desktop okay First things first is I already um, made some um, screenshots here. Uh, what you want to do is first go on to your uh, Quest app on your phone, whether iOS or Android. Make sure it's all connected on the same Wi-Fi. That's really important. Um, on the bottom right, you'll click on settings. Then next, you want to click on... Uh, your Oculus Quest 2, uh, so it has this drop-down option, then more settings will appear, so you select that next. Then it will say developer mode, and you want to make sure that is toggled on. So, we also want to make sure that uh, we want to go towards a site. Um, links will be in the description to create a developer account. Um, I believe you could probably got to do this first, then these, uh, then the necessary steps of what we just showed you. So make sure you just give yourself an organization name. It can be anything you want and just click, I understand and hit accept. Then you should be able to do all these, uh, settings. This was just uh, a thumbnail. Don't mind that. Um, but, uh, then you'll be able to do all of these settings here. What I just showed you. Okay, so after all of that, you want to make sure on your desktop that you will go towards um, the these two websites here, which is going to be vrdesktop.net and click download streamer app. Then also we want to make sure we download the Oculus ADB drivers and uh, download and install that. Once you get the drivers uh, extracted to your desktop, it'll create a folder then go to that folder, right click on Android underscore when USB and just click install, then that's it. So after you get those two installed, um, let's open up our virtual desktop here. Uh, let me bring that up. And it'll ask you to put in your Oculus username. It will not ask for a password, just put in your username, which I have done. Um, it will leave, uh, it at automatic because it's going to pull whatever encoder uh, to do all the streaming for. So it'll pull up your graphics card if you have one. If not, it'll use your um, CPU right here. And just leave everything at default. Leave it all running. Again, uh, make sure that your uh, Oculus is connected to the same Wi-Fi network uh, in order for this to work. Uh, one other thing. We want to make sure that our... Um, audio is going to be working for the sound and microphone. No one said anything about this, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, you want to go on the bottom right where it shows speaker. Then you're going to right click, select uh, open sound settings. Then for you, it might show this and it won't show all these options on the side. Just go ahead and drag, drag this on open or hit the uh, uh, big button to expand it out to the entire screen. Then you'll see the sound control panel, or you can just go uh, towards your, uh, hit the Windows key and just type in sound control panel. So uh, you wanna scroll all the way down and it'll say a uh, virtual desktop audio. You wanna right click and make sure it's enabled. Right now it says disabled because it is enabled, but right click and click enable. And you're gonna select uh, default, uh, set default. And then you're going to go towards your uh, recording tab and you're going to look for the Microsoft or Mac, excuse me, microphone, uh, then visual desktop audio, make sure that's enabled and select, uh, and select a set default. After you're done using it, um, it should go back to your previous um, microphone, what you had and your previous headset. If it doesn't, make sure you come back here and make sure you set your default headset uh, to what you had it originally towards to. And same thing with the microphone and you should be able to hear um, sound again from your headset and be able to use your original microphone. But um, that's really important. So go ahead and exit out of here. And next, what we wanna do is go to sidequestvr.com. 
and select our windows and make sure you download it. It's completely for free and you do not need to sign in. Um, after you install it, uh, let's go ahead and open up the program. And it's gonna automatically start looking for that Oculus. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you plug in the Oculus cable uh, via USB-C to USB-C, or if you have a USB-A um, to USB-C that is capable, then just go ahead and do that. Then uh, you wanna select um, um, whatever games that you want, but however, we want to make sure that we have the patch. We need the virtual desktop VR patch, and it's gonna say, um, install to headset, then just go ahead and do that. So right now it says not uh, detected because mine's not plugged in, but when I plug it in, it'll show up green, it'll say connected, and we'll just go ahead and uh, install it to the headset. Uh, you can check out other free games um, that are kind of interesting. I checked out the Pokemon VR, which is actually kind of really worth looking into. So if you like Pokemon, Really would recommend that, but let's go ahead and continue on with the video. Let's go ahead and hop on our uh, on our headset and show you how to set up the virtual desktop and how to play games from the Steam VR. Okay, so we are in our Oculus now. And what you want to do is go to the Oculus Store and search up Virtual Desktop. It will cost you about 20 US dollars. Do not buy Virtual Desktop straight from the straight from desktop when you're not wearing your VR headset. Um, when you visit the Oculus Store, because that will be for Rift. You want to make sure you have your Oculus on and you buy it straight from the Virtual Store, if that makes sense. So I do have it installed. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. And the first thing it's gonna do, it's going to look for that connection. Let's go ahead and disconnect before we even connect to it. Um, so here is the computer that we have the virtual desktop installed. Um, here are the environments that we can select uh, if you don't like this cloudy area, uh, the games, um, the input if you need to make any modifications towards your uh, controllers. The settings, which I strongly recommend, is putting the, uh, if you have a beefy graphics card, uh, put it on high, put it 90 uh, FPS. Um, as for streaming, same thing, and um, for video, it's still in development. So let's go ahead and jump towards the computer. Now it's going to go ahead and it's going to start mirroring. Um, which I'm recording uh, from the casting, so you can see an infinite mirror. Now if I go ahead and just click out of that, um, now you can see that I'm on my web browser. Um, if we go back towards, uh, if we hit our um, our menu button, you can see it'll say launch Steam VR, which we're about to do. So let's go ahead and launch that. Now you can see that I'm in the um, Steam world. If I hit this uh, button again, um, I can play any of my Steam VRs. Usually you'll be set into that uh, that home environment uh, when you first play Steam VR. Um, but however, I did not for this example. I want to play Phasmophobia, or I can play other uh, library games that I have in, and this is all from, you, you don't see Half-Life Alex on the Oculus Store. You see it on um, Steam, so, but whatever. Um, I wanna play Phasmophobia, and uh, now you can see it's, it's start up the game, and uh, now I can, I can join players, and uh, you go to options, make sure your audio is all set and whatnot. So it'll do voice recognition. Give us a sign. And it, re it said we heard you, so now I am ready. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, definitely hit a like. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit all post notifications so you don't miss a upload. I do also stream on twitch.tv slash codeactual, so catch me up on my gaming side. Let's go. I do also have social media. Links are in the description down below. If you ever need any technical support, don't hit me up on Twitch. Don't hit me up on social media. Hit me up on Discord and or Reddit. That's where you can ask the questions there because when you're trying to invade on my 
free time, especially when I'm streaming, trying to play games. I ain't here trying to hold your hand, homie. Just, just being honest. Just come through the Discord if you need help. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.